Is that 11? Shuttle Atlantis sits on launch pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center, ready for a final voyage. One last mission to deliver food and spare parts to the International Space Station. It's time to end the shuttle program. There's no question about that. It, it has been an absolutely incredible vehicle. After 30 years and this 135th mission, NASA's shuttle program is ending. Shuttle tests started as a way to keep the space agency working after the moon landings. First flown in April of 1981, the shuttle was promoted as a new way to link Earth and space. We have started uh, all the payload operations to uh, collect more science data about our atmosphere. Designed to blast off like a rocket, maneuver as a spacecraft, and land like an airplane, a shuttle could be serviced and launched again in a matter of months. The first reliable, reusable spaceship. Uh, the new normal was going to be normal space flight, close to home, doing things that were practical and beneficial for life on Earth. Routine shuttle flights meant launching satellites from the payload bay and snatching satellites out of orbit for repair. Without shuttle, there would be no Hubble Space Telescope. Despite continued efforts at improving crew safety and reliability, 14 astronauts and two shuttles, Challenger and Columbia, were lost. The principal consequence of the Challenger accident first, and again with the Columbia tragedy, was to shock people into the realization that spaceflight wasn't yet truly routine. Still, both tragedies brought renewed public support for space travel. And NASA joined 16 other countries to build the International Space Station, 220 miles above Earth. Humans took up housekeeping in space and conducted experiments in weightlessness in the equivalent of a three-bedroom house. I think we'll look back and we'll all agree that it probably is the finest workhorse that we have ever had for taking people and equipment and supplies into space and returning them. Women, African Americans, Hispanic, Asian Americans, and astronauts from a score of other countries all made up shuttle crews, a testament to the diversity of the space program. So there's going to still be Americans in space. There'll still be an American space program. What we won't have for a while is the um, privilege and um, enjoyment of seeing Americans launch from U.S. soil. That's what we're going to be missing. Now, after 30 years of shuttle missions, space travel is part of the human experience. In the future, commercial companies will take over some missions while NASA looks deeper into space. As America turns the page to new ways of space travel, this final mission promises a strong end to the storied history of the shuttle program. John Belmont, Associated Press. Here, touchdown.